Earlier this year, we discussed the Air Force Research Lab's new 2,000-pound anti-ship bomb called QuickSync, which sent an aircraft carrier-sized target to the bottom of the Pacific with just a single shot just about this time last summer. Now, the U.S. Air Force is testing yet another similar weapon from its stealth bombers, a 500-pound version of the QuickSync that could allow a single B-2 Spirit to engage as many as 80 smaller warships in just a single sortie. And while these smaller ship killers might not pack the same punch as their bigger sisters, they may actually pose an even bigger threat to the Chinese Navy. So let's talk about the new 500-pound quicksink. I'm Alex Hollings, and this is Air Power. Before we dive in, here's a quick word from our sponsor, T-Mobile. Those who serve, save with T-Mobile. Get four lines of unlimited for 25 bucks per month. And you get it all on America's largest and fastest 5G network. Visit our website to see how military families save with T-Mobile. Earlier this week, the Air Force announced the first successful demonstration of its new 500-pound class quick-sync munition, based directly on the GBU-38 500-pound JDAM. Now, if you're not familiar with JDAMs, or Joint Direct Attack Munitions, in very simple terms, they're bolt-on guidance and fin kits that turn cheap old dumb bombs into modern precision-guided ordnance. Now, these kits have been in service since 1999, and today they leverage GPS-supported inertial navigation to close with stationary targets even when obscured or while jammed and from as far out as around 15 miles. And more recently, the U.S. began adding deployable wing kits to these bombs, extending that reach out to 45 miles without any form of propulsion on the weapon. Now, QuickSync builds upon the JDAM's capabilities by incorporating additional forms of guidance into that bolt-on kit, namely a radar seeker in the nose, and an infrared imaging seeker installed on a new side fairing. As a result, while JDAMs are limited to hitting stationary targets at set coordinates, QuickSync uses the JDAM guidance kits only to get into the general vicinity of a known target ship before transitioning over to its radar and infrared sensors to first identify the target vessel, calculate its course and rate of travel, and then plot its terminal guidance to a specific point alongside the hull of the ship just below the waterline. And as we can see in this test footage, the 2,000-pound quicksink packs enough power to crack a full-sized cargo ship straight up in half upon impact. Now, a single B-2 Spirit can carry up to 16 of these massive weapons, but not every ship needs that much firepower. And that is where the 500-pound quicksink comes in. These weapons carry nearly as much explosives as the Mark 48 heavy torpedo used by American attack submarines, but delivered by the dozen from a stealth bomber or really just about any other tactical or strategic aircraft in the U.S. arsenal. But the B-2 might just be the scariest for Chinese sailors, as its stealth could allow it to get close enough to ship formations to deploy a full payload of... 80 500-pound quick-sync munitions at 80 separate targets, something the B-2's been doing with JDAMs since 2003 or so. Now, you could also deliver these weapons from F-35s, F-22s, or, again, just about any of America's non-stealth aircraft. And this is a huge deal, because while China does boast the largest navy on the planet today, that claim could be a bit misleading. While China does have a growing number of aircraft carriers and maybe as many as 47 advanced destroyers, the vast majority, or roughly 65% of China's navy, is made up of pretty small corvettes, frigates, patrol ships, and mine layers, the largest of which are around the size of America's biggest Coast Guard cutters. For ships like these, a single 500-pound explosive detonating alongside their hull below the waterline would be more than enough to send them down to Davy Jones' locker. 
Now, in the past, the Air Force Research Lab has said that their QuickSync Seeker kits cost around $200,000 a piece, but they also claim that that unit price will drop to around $50,000 a piece once full rate production begins. It's tough to nail down exactly what a GBU 38 JDM costs, but they're widely reported to ring in at around $20,000 a piece, making the 500 pound QuickSync cost somewhere between $70,000 and maybe as much as $220,000 each. Now that's not cheap, but compared to anti-ship missiles like the Harpoon or the AGM-158C Lorazum, that's actually a huge bargain because those anti-ship missiles ring in in the millions of dollars apiece. But maybe best of all, the U.S. already has literally tens of thousands of these JDAMs that can be converted into quicksync munitions in its inventory. Now, thus far, the Air Force Research Lab hasn't said anything about adding the JDAM ER's glide kits to quicksync, which would extend the weapon's range from 15 miles out to around 45. But if I were a betting man, I'd put my money on that already being in the works. <laughs>